Nice. So good morning, everybody. I'm Thomas Blair. And I am Mark Hallis with the coat on. And he, it is very cold. And we are talking about uh, some new 5.3 features today. Action harvesting. Action harvesting and the uh, updated power trace. So that sounds cool. Uh, let everyone filter in here. Yeah, it is It is cold. Uh, harvesting and power loadout questions. There's thing called sweaters. Yeah, I put it at my desk because I was running around prepping all the stuff and got warm and now I'm gonna suffer the whole stream. Oh well. Okay, so 5.3 is on the horizon and we had time to do a bunch of things that were outside of the race class split and we needed to do them for the assassin that we've been building mm -hmm. and it hit the point where the power trays were just unmanageable because of the toggling mechanic. T was not, right now like Druids press T to uh, to jump between bars and that wasn't going to work when you had three and four bars right just flat out wasn't going to work because then you would have to toggle through something to get to another stance that you may or may not be able to go to so what we did was we went through and rewrote the whole power mapping tech um, and it's pretty cool so today i'm going to show you where that's going with this screenshot that billy mocked up for us. So you can see what we have here is our updated, we're calling it the spell book now, it's the power book, it's where your powers go, and down below is your power tray. And you will notice that there's a new tray in there. The harvesting tray. Uh, the survival tray. Yes. The survival tray. So you will now be able to drag objects from your inventory to the survival tray. Right now, we are limiting items to this one single tray. The survival tray is also the tray that you land in game on. So, prior to this, you would come in and you would have to press Z to toggle into combat, right? And that is still a thing because now when you press Z, you are toggling from the survival tray to the melee tray. Oh, Pan came in. Right. Oh, right. oh, that is very oh, nice of you. Take care of the talent. <laughs> she is looking out <laughs> for us. They brought me a nice, heavy winter. Thank you, Val. Thanks, Val. Bye. My uh, Kickstarter backer jacket for uh, Battletech. Oh, yes. I may not shiver to death now. <laughs> Okay, so back to the power tray. So, uh, you will notice the survival tray down there, and it has a bunch of held items in there. This is technically what stance or tray you are in when you are not in combat, or in the melee tray, for example. So, we were doing a poor job before visualizing it, I think, because people didn't understand ever when they were in combat, when they were out of combat. So, what we've just done is codified that, and it, it's a stance now. So, you come in, you're in the survival tray, you are not in combat. If you get hit, you get dizzy to knock down. If you press Z, you go into the melee tray and you go into combat mode at the same time. So we used to have a bunch of states. We had melee in combat, melee out of combat, ranged in combat, ranged out of combat, stealth was an out of combat, and then there was just uh, out of combat, right? right? So we've kind of streamlined that where you're either in the melee tray, the range tray, the stealth tray, or the survival tray. Okay. I'm seeing if there's any uh, any questions on that. Um, <sighs> remarks about seeing food and potions on the... I mean, yep. That's so worth, worth, uh, you'll notice that the tools now are actually on the tray. Right, because they're what? They're oh, items. They are items, as they've always been. However, prior to this, you would use F to interact, mm -hmm. and it would just decide for you. Well, that's gone away. So now you have to decide what tool you're going to use, and what you're going to beat on. I'll show that when we actually get into the harvesting demo. You'll notice the racial bloodline passive and your left click key are no longer mappable. That is because the bloodline passive is not, you can't swap it out. It just comes down over here and you can't swap that guy out. And your left click is now determined by the object that you are holding. So if you are holding a harvesting tool, your left click power is the appropriate type of harvesting power. If you're holding a melee weapon, it is the appropriate left click. This is kind of a shift for us because before we were 
saying load out your left click and then here's this weapon that you need to use. Now what we're gonna say is equip this weapon and we will give you a specific left click and it's based off of class, race, and uh, tray. So we can swap, you could have the same object equipped, for example, the Druid, mm -hmm. and whether in the life or death tray, it actually switches which left click they have and the player doesn't have to do anything. It just it does its thing. So that is cool because it means that we can create a whole series of new objects that give you upgraded left click attacks if we really want to do that. Yes, indeed. So we are no longer limited to just a uh, like a knight left click if we want to make a cooler, um, for example, a cooler mace basic or something like that because we can now link it to the actual object. So that is a pretty big shift for us. Yeah, somebody just said no more F. Yeah. Yes, the harvesting no longer relies on F to interact. However, our thrown interacts are still F to interacts. Our looting is still F to interacts. All, none of that has changed. So there is no more out of combat, if people are asking? Out of combat is now the survival tray. So when you are out of combat, the survival tray is up at all times. So if you have a question, why can't I harvest this tree, and you have a bunch of combat powers up, it's because you're not in the survival tray. Does that mean you'll still get dizzy down if you're harvesting and somebody attacks you? Correct. Survival tray always has that limitation. That's also where you gain uh, movement speed buffs is while you're in the survival tray. So most of the time when you're in combat and you've got the, for example, Trailblazer and Trailmaster all shut off when you're in combat mode because we can't have people moving around at 145% movement speed in combat. That would be ridiculous. So, but you can totally see the sweet UI that Billy has uh, mocked up for us. This is uh, going to get built in the 5.3 branch. You should have no question where things go because they're columns, right? You'll notice, oh, hey, now if you treat the passive area and the powers area like a big book, you can drag it. It's not a one-to-one -one down relationship. It's anywhere within that grid underneath it. You can no longer move the left clicks. Generally, we're not giving people more than two right clicks, right? I can think that maybe the clerics and the, the blocker guys have two right now. Yeah, that's that's it for now. I don't even think there's a discipline that gives a right click, is there? Um, block, right? I mean, you can get block if you're, um, you know, for a druid or whatever, but so there's that. But. Yeah, generally, we're not giving you more than would fit in there. Same with the ultimates and the retaliates. And if we do, Billy can come back and figure out how to squeeze them in there and make them fit because he likes to do that. Um, so left click to harvest now? Yep. Yeah, we'll get to that. So I just wanted everybody to see this, kind of digest this. Uh, it, it shows a pretty big change to the way we've been doing things for a long time. The whole dragging of items to the power bar was a pretty substantial change. Mm-hmm. We had never been able to do that before. We didn't have the tech to do that. Akshay got that all working. Even though it is kind of amusing now, when you use a potion, it will consume the entire stack. Yeah. So we'll, 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 we'll you, probably have that fixed before you We'll see have it. that fixed before you guys see it. But for us right now, if we use an apple, it eats all the apples. All the apples. You're like, I want an apple. No, you, oh, want, all, you the want all the apples. So that will get fixed by the time you guys see this. Let me go over into Unity. And I will demo the new action harvesting. So let's see. Any good questions while uh, Unity is doing its thing? Oh, let's see. I'm here. So items from survival tray that allows for consumables, i.e. health potions, correct? Yes, yes. that's correct. Survival tray, you can... Drive. However, um, we've always been kind of fearful of the health potions, which is why our version of health potions are out-of-combat regen potions, right. which means you would need to be in the survival tray for them to actually be ticking. So it makes sense that they're over there. Right. So that's... Yeah, we, we, we definitely know all the perils of potions. Yes, indeed. Yes, and indeed. So... That's why they're limited to that one tray. But the door is open now with the potions on the bar, so you can expect. Can they move around while harvesting, or are they stuck in place like they are now? Uh, well, they'll see. Okay. You will see. As we're gonna load okay. Oh, we, we have loaded. We have loaded. Let me go full screen on this guy. Once Unity is done, 
This is our test level that has basically every type of resource node. And Jonathan just got us the animal corpses back. Oh, that's right. So we've taken a substantial... You see them all lying down in the distance over there. Can you do a quick recap for people that just came in? A uh, quick recap. Yes, so as you see, I've landed in and I am now in the survival tray. Survival. Right? If I want to press Z, I can go into the melee tray. And the melee tray puts me into a combat stance. And I'm treated as in combat. I can't be dizzied. I can't be knocked down. Well, you can be knocked down, but you won't be knocked down from being dizzy. Correct. You won't be dizzy down. You won't be dizzy down. It's very cold, which is why there's snow in here. Uh, that, that's part of the recap as well. Now, if you want to go back to the survival tray, right now you can press H to just go back to it. Or because we know so many people are used to it, you can just press Z and it treats it just like a toggle now. So for the vast majority of people, nothing changes, yeah. right? Z is basically you're in combat and you're out of combat. It's just we've codified it with a specific tray now. So it's very obvious which one that you are in. If you are a druid, for example, or a ranger, you can either press T to go to the range tray. You can press Z to go into the life tray or the melee tray for the druid and the ranger, respectively. Or you can remap it to whatever you want. So remap it to whatever makes you comfortable. Okay. Okay. So they should be different colors, make it more obvious. We have these little, uh, if you look down here, we have which one you are in. And for whatever reason, probably because I'm demoing it, it stopped working this morning. So <laughs> when you press Z, it actually is supposed to go over the Z. There's little cooldown widgets that show you you can't instantly spam between the trays. Uh, there is a little period of time while it sets up everything. And, for you know, demo. Yeah. Demo, demo, it happens. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. We're in development. This is a very early-ish, not super early, because we're already yeah, past... still fairly early. I mean, it's... We're past the kind oh. of the gray box yeah. of it, but we're now into the tuning it, making it look and make it feel good. Which, by the way, you probably have to tune the damage numbers. But... <laughs> hey, at least you told me this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you come in, and prior to this, you had a spirit axe. Gone. So now, you just come up. Look at that birch. Look at that birch. And you'll notice we still have just this little tool tip up. You to, uh, the tool tip up to tell you what version of harvest you have, what type of tree it is, what rank it is. And you just zap the sucker. And you'll notice that its health starts going down. It is our equivalent of punching trees. Mm -hmm. And it will it will start producing wood. Um, it's very slow because we don't want people... Doing this? Macroing this, right? right. This, this is yeah. just a way to get you off your feet. We'll tune the values enough such that it doesn't do any... And yeah, I'm I'm. you can either hold the left mouse button down or you can... Uh, left click, clickety, 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 clickety. All right, let me get the wood there because I'm going to want to build. Oh, look at that. Give me some wood. Hopefully it'll give me three because that is exactly what I need for. You also notice we have fly text. Before we weren't messaging how much damage you're doing. That's going to get uh, cleaned up a little bit. Yay, I got three wood. Perfect. Okay, so I got three wood. I don't need to make anything. I'll come in here. And I will make, you'll now notice, we've broken apart the tools. So now all of the tools take the same three wood. This is for the basic tools only. The advanced tools didn't touch those recipes at all. So I'm going to make a basic harvesting axe. I definitely got an apple because I've got the skills. So... It's saying uh, we need the harvesting animations for sure. This is not good. Um, just just so you're clear, what what uh, Blair was just doing there was is what you do when you don't have a weapon. This right. Is literally, if you played Minecraft, the first thing like you don't have anything, you start barrel. punching trees. You punching trees. So this is this is our equivalent of punching trees. You'll punch trees until you get three wood. Then you can make an axe, which Blair will now show you. So I made the axe. You can either right click it or you can drag it to your tr uh, tray. If you <coughs> If you right click it, it will equip it into the tool slot. 
and it will automatically put it onto the survival tray. So right click that guy, boom. I, I summoned it, boom, there's an ax there now. While you have the, the ax as your active tool, your tool is going to be out 100% of the time, right? So it's no longer, so yeah, I run around with my ax out now. You can tell that I've, I'm in, I'm in ax chopper mode. And before you saw how quick it, or slow it was, right? Now you see, choppity chop, choppity chop. I'm just wrecking this tree. This is a lower end tree, which is why I'm doing 90, 90. points of damage versus the, uh, the one, the, the 25 that I was doing. The animators gave us some alternate animations. So you'll notice I sometimes I spin, sometimes I chop. You also notice as I'm going down the trees, my damage is decreasing. That is because the trees ha still have, they've always had this, but we yeah. just haven't shown it. The trees have the natural uh, armor, armor, basically. And the tool gives you uh, penetration to that, which we call uh, logging, mining, coring, and uh, skinning. So those two things fight against each other. Because this is a basic weapon, it doesn't have much stat value. Right, and this is a rank three birch. And this is a rank three birch. So it's harder to um, it's harder to use basic tools the further you go down. In fact, so if I go all the way down here, doo -doo 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 -doo, seven, let's go to nine. So I was doing 70 on that rank three. Mm -hmm. I'm doing 10. 10. 10. So I definitely need to make a better tool. And hopefully the fly text now tells you, make a better tool. I really like the spin. Um, I thought the animators did a, did a nice flourish there on the spin. Mm -hmm. Because this isn't a channel power even more, it has an additional benefit of the timing doesn't get out of sync. So it generally looks good. The pace is much quicker uh, to chop a tree down. In fact, you, you run through stamina very quickly. And Mark can talk about what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? What else? Uh, the, not, the powers? The powers. That you were going to make for the tray? Powers I'm going to make for a tray? I'm not sure what you mean. Remember that, that spreadsheet That's I showed one. you yesterday? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, I, I honestly, the cold is addling his brain. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, the, yeah, the individual powers. So I, I'm, you know, why don't you cover that? Because I, I actually, I... We're just going to add some powers that you you can load out in the survival tray that will make your next couple hits do triple damage. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those good things. Uh, reduce Sorry. stamina cost. Um, you can convert health into stamina. Stamina, yes. Or you can make your stamina. Now I remember. All no, of that. That was two days ago. That was it two days I slept, ago? I slept twice. Actually, three times. Yeah, and he's been getting sick. So, in fact, it, everybody's starting to get sick around here. I guess it's the... It could be the, uh, <laughs> the cold. <laughs> the cold. Uh, but, yeah. So we're going to make it have some powers that you can load out. So the harvesters have some powers that they can load out and do fun things when they're harvesting as well. And they can get loaded out in this tray and they won't be able to get loaded out into the uh, the, the melee tray or the range tray. Ah, okay. Let's just knock this tree down. Where are those extra harvesting powers coming from? Right now, we're going to put them on some harvesting disciplines. So that is the idea. Everybody, everybody gets some disciplines, mm -hmm. right? It's ninety percent of the year. I don't know what that is. Uh, no, he's saying come to Denmark. We'll show you cold. Oh, you know uh, okay. I, I I spent a lot of what from third grade through uh, a bachelor's degree in Upper Michigan. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, I kind of look cold, at least from the, the continental you. Kind of a little U.S. perspective, anyway. Uh, let's see. Do I have enough wood now to make another tool? Let's make... Pick. Go blue. All right. Yeah, we're also going to put in some... Todd really wants some basic uh, tools in there, the non-glowy versions. So the, the glowy versions will be the cooler ones. So there will be a default. Um, Less spectrally uh, yeah. fascinating. So. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you, you saw how fast the summon is now. And let's see what happens when I chop me some gold. Look at you. You're just ripping that gold up. You know what's funny is I've noticed the first hit always does a... 
an additional three points of damage. I'm going to go with rounding. Are you? Sure. Because look at that. Sure. So if I wait a second, the first hit does three more points I'll of damage. I'll go with the first thing that comes to my mind. No, that's not that's not what it is. Are you sure you're not giving a giving them a plus three bonus to the first strike? We'll have to see what that is, because yeah. that is definitely um That is unique. Every hit after that does that, but the very first hit does an additional three points of damage. I wonder if it does that for the axes too. The other, the axes weren't doing that, but I So again, you'll notice the uh, animators gave us a couple animations. We're, we are going to continue to add. There's there's one piece missing from this that we're going to be prototyping. I won't reveal that yet. Oh, wow, that noted came back quick. The trees aren't coming back very fast. The birches take longer. <laughs> no, I, I don't know that. Again, I'm making things up. Boom. Yeah, we're still working on the... Okay, yeah, the, the, that bug isn't fixed, but... The summoning of the tool when something's already in there. So you're just hitting one and two to switch between those, correct? Yeah, you can just you can just swap from your, from your tray. The tray will light up to tell you which is the active one. The tray is still a work in progress as well. But this is one of the things that we kind of added into. Is it, cold? <laughs> is it cold in Texas? No, it's not cold in Texas. It's just cold in this room. Yeah, it's been in the 90s here in Texas. It's, it's cooling off. But this room has to be in the low 60s, I'm thinking. It always is. <laughs> Does it show crits? Yes, you'll you'll see. Yes, I, you will see crits. Let you crit. What's Does that? It, do, I, I, don't, I don't remember. Do Part crit? of the next thing is adding crits. We should add crits if we don't have crits. Mm -hmm. Yep. Will there be a crunch chop... A cr crotch <laughs> chop locking animation? No. Yeah. Can we expect terrible weak spots? Maybe. 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 Yeah, it was it was def definitely one of those things where, hey, our, our combat is super action-y, but our harvesting just really wasn't. And now it definitely is. So hopefully more people will enjoy the harvesting. I, I really like the animations. I'm having a good oh, yeah, time. It just feels a lot better left-clicking. Um Versus the the have to interact, yeah. That that video we made a year ago where we said we didn't want to do a mini game and all that was, uh, um, yeah. Well, you you can look at you moving around. Yeah, look at you moving around. You're out of stamina. This will also be, by the way, the tree of life will stop taking damage from things other than axes. So there. yes, so you are going to want to carry good axes to literally chop down the opponent's tree of life. So this is actually going to be an important part of combat in the sense of we are taking over this keep. We need to chop the tree down. It's going to be chopping, not hitting it with a, a blunt weapon, but... Or shooting arrows at it, or... Or shooting arrows, or... Like it on fire kind of makes sense, but... Fire makes sense uh, to some Freezing, degree. Freezing maybe a little less, or poisoning maybe not. Poisoning as... makes zero yeah. sense. Well, you could, I guess you could poison a tree. Bleeding the tree. Bleeding a tree is ridiculous. Unless you're making maple syrup. <laughs> but I mean, that's the just same delicious. thing with walls. Uh, the walls will take damage from hammers and the the coring hammers, mm -hmm. and because once again, bleeding walls and poisoning walls is just ridiculous. So these. Um, so uh, Gratisher has asked, uh, do attrib attributes affect harvesting damage? Do attributes affect harvesting damage? You, I know that there's a stat mod in there right now for... I can't remember what you called it. But you definitely I don't remember either. <laughs> <laughs> that has definitely been more than two sleeps for Mark. Yeah. So Mark has, has forgotten what that one was as well. I, I don't. I, unfortunately, I don't have our entire skill system uh, memorized. <laughs> all the... all 7,000 stats. Why not? As part of the um, racial stuff that Mark is doing, the or I'm sorry, the skill tree stuff that you were doing, the mm -hmm. racial and the other attributes, there is a definite linkage to attributes to harvesting skills. So we definitely wanted to make it, or harvesting stats, we definitely want to make it such that uh, increasing attributes is, is beneficial for harvesters as well. Yep. Again, so what's kind of funny is we're doing the same thing with harvesting that we did with combat. Right, we put in the basic thing, we kind of 
futzed around with different models, what we wanted to do, came back around to it multiple times. And this is actually the first time that we're coming back around to the actual mechanics of harvesting, not the mm -hmm. results. Right. Because we did that update uh, about a year ago where yeah, we changed it from – yeah, it's already been a year where we changed it from the five-tier system into the more – it's a flatter system because you use all of the resources and all the recipes. Right. So now we're actually coming around to the mechanics to make it feel good such that people are generally having a good time while they're running yeah. around the world harvesting and getting stuff. And it's not just a simple left to interact. So that that's part of the whole goal here. So to clarify, hammers can be used to damage walls, but do you have to use hammers to damage walls? No, the catapults still do their thing, but it's silly when people go up with a sword and they're trying to damage the wall with a sword, right? We're definitely going to make it make sense. Yeah. We'll probably make the fort walls weak to chopping as well. So yes, uh, I think everybody's probably going to want to train uh, a little bit of the exploration tree as far as the, even if you're a combatant, not only because there's fun tools in there like apples, mm -hmm. and everybody loves apples. Everybody likes apples. Everybody loves apples. In fact, I got a golden apple earlier when I was harvesting, and I got really excited because it had the legendary <laughs> splash on it. Uh, but the uh, you're going to want to have some chopping, and you're going to want to have some uh, coring because those things will be useful for sieges and other things, just like they should be, in my opinion. Yeah, the, the whole... The, the swords, using my really good sword on a wall. Yeah, that would be... Uh, that would be foolish. Tragic. Yes. Okay, what are the questions we have? So we, you'll have to be in the survival tree while attacking the Tree of Life. Does that also include the Bane Tree? Uh, yes, it does. Considering the Bane Tree does damage right now. Oh, yes. Oh. We're going to have to do something to make sure they don't chain get dizzy down. Yes, the idea there is that you are vulnerable while you are doing that, or you're bringing lots of uh, confessors or people doing magical damage. But the idea is that the axes and the, the hammers do a, a crap ton of damage. We'll see if that if that survives, but that's the kind of general idea yeah, it is right I now. I'm thinking right now. Uh, so somebody had asked this a little bit earlier. Um, since you can only equip one of the harvesting items at a time, does that mean that all those harvesting items will be lootable? Does that mean that all the harvesting items will be lootable? So yes, you, they are in your inventory. Okay. So we are uh, talking, so we've just started to work on our bag design as part of this as well. One of the benefits of some of the bags that we are uh, looking at making is that those bags are safe. So there will be specialty bags that only harvesting tools can go into or resources that go into that are not part of your main inventory. They're a benefit for having that bag type on that vessel. So yes, all part of the works. As the game systems come online, it becomes even more exciting because we get to make rules. Yeah. Uh, question about POIs from camp. Uh, current chests are boring. Timers are easy to game. Basically asking how will PO POIs work? Well, so right now, I mean, I mean, the POIs are just in there for us to test. I mean, right. a chest that respawns every 15 to 45 seconds. Yeah, that's not. Clearly, that's not a thing. Not, not ideal. Right, that's just in there <laughs> so we can test. Hey, here comes Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Look at that. Delivering the Red Bull. I'm a little I'm a little upset I didn't get a delivery of some kind. I know. Blair got a delivery, you got a delivery. I guess I did. Just left out. That's true. It was the Hunger Games. It was the little silver parachute that came down. <laughs> so are you saying that people just don't like us enough? I'm I'm saying your sponsors <laughs> suck. No one has bought you anything. You just sit over there and suffer. So yes. Next question. I mean, do we have any? Uh, what effects does this change on group harvesting? Is, sorry, just you know, go ahead with that. Okay, so group harvesting. I can demo that because we have group nodes over here. Let me summon my... I really like running around with the spirit tool. I was, I was a little worried about this. Um, when Todd and I were talking about it, I'm like, do we really want people running around with the spirit tools? Oh, come on. You can tell. 
tell your minor or tell your uh, yeah you, you can tell and and the, you're okay and you know what the effects uh, I like the glow that it's giving me um, again my resolution isn't very good on this monitor so blame uh, blame Jack and Gibson but <laughs> the effects that Greg did for the little the little mystical runes on the hand are great so here are some group notes as many of you have seen uh, rank ten silver holy I'm, cats I'm gonna go down to a little less than rank ten. Now, group nodes still do the same thing. Mechanically on the back end, they have a very high armor such that a solo player cannot penetrate it enough to actually deal any damage. So we should probably have a fail or at least a hit effect on there so you know that you are... Right, some better messaging. Right. It says, hey, you need a, probably need another person helping here. But if there was two people here, we our combined power would be enough to knock it down such that we could start damaging it. Very slightly because I'm using a basic tool. Going against group nodes with basic tools is never something you should do. I mean, it, it has zero skill on it. Yeah. I mean, zero. So definitely. Oh, hey, look, it's taking damage now, too. Oh, yeah. Steve fixed that. Good job, Steve. So, yeah, up until yesterday, the tools weren't taking any damage because they didn't know about the new tools. So, that has been fixed. But group harvesting still works just as it did before. It's just a bit clearer the damage amounts that you are doing. Okay. Yeah, not all tools will glow. The lower end version, there will be versions. I'm guessing the basic tools will just be basic, uh, a basic axe and a basic uh, pick. Basically, we didn't have the ability to do the tech before of keeping the tools out because they were baked into the old archetypes. And now that we have this whole weapon concept of weapons, we can use that same tech to leverage to keeping the tool out all the time. The animators did have to go through and make some tweaks to running around to make everybody look good while they're carrying things. And they've already done that, so there good job. Go. Next question, or if there's any questions. Do you have any other plans for the survival trade besides harvesting tools and consumables? Uh, what kind of plans? Uh, will this be how we deal with and control pets, mounts, caravans, taming creatures, etc.? Maybe. I mean, I guess we need to talk about if it's an active combat power when you kind of uh, uh, put a thrall into a soul gem or capture uh, right. an, an animal. If that is a if that's a combat task or if it's a survival task. If it's a survival task, the the thing about the survival trade is it always puts you at risk because you're at risk of getting dizzy, right? right? However, the benefits for being in the survival trade is you have access to your full consumable library. And you have all of your speed enhancers. Mm -hmm. So most of our speed enhancers are considered for out of combat only. So the centaur moves very quickly when he's in the survival tray. The elkin moves very quickly when he's in the survival tray. Bard song, very quick when you're in the survival tray. When you're in, the, uh, in a melee tray or range tray, not so much. Yes. Is the single hit damage still capped at 100 damage? Is the single hit damage for or the... a node? Uh, it's not capped. Yeah. It's just that the, the, the tools do 100, and we haven't started modulating the um, the crit stuff yet. Yeah. The crit stuff will uh, add double damage, or if we decide to go with a, um, a sliding scale like we did with the regular crits. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the duelist burrowing power currently requires for you to be out of combat will that carry forward to the duelist must be in survival trade to burrow yes so you have to be in the survival trade to enter the burrow stance or use uh, their ultimate vanish and that will automatically put them uh, into the uh, burrow state also the racial burrow and the wood elf racial camouflage both require you to be in the survival trait to activate them 
that cannot be activated from the melee or a ranged threat. Yeah, it's much easier now for us to kind of just identify the rules by tray type. Yeah. Because it, it should be very clear what tray you are in, and the rules, the button will either be lit up or not, which should give you uh, an indication of what you need to do. Also, I think we should probably put it in the tooltip too. Yeah. It, it should tell you what tray you're required to be in. So, Soul River's asking Will Sprint be available out of combat again now? No. Sprint uh, is an in combat power, essentially. Out of combat, your speed buffs are the ones I listed off before. Right. Okay. Everybody just moves faster baseline out in survival tray. And you now have a wide variety of racial ones. And if you are, say, a human, you don't get one. Unless, you know what, did we add Trailblazer as? I think Arcane Archer comes with it. One, Yeah, one of the, one of the bow ones. I, yep. I do not remember which one. Yeah, so th there's a couple ways to get one of those uh, survival run speed increasers. Right. And I mean, it should be noted, too, that that effectively out of combat, you are sprinting, like right now. Right. So, the I mean, the movement like, speed. Sprint, sprint wasn't taken away. It was basically always given to you and then added as a secondary thing to do it, 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 it is our way of <clears throat> keeping some of the, the insane movement stuff in combat from carrying over. Because we can make the out of combat stuff, you know yeah, what I mean? The, the, the survival track. Right. Yeah, we're going to, we need to start kind of remembering it's the survival train survival now yeah. it's kind of just like unwiring our brains from calling them archetypes anymore several years because we've been doing that for two years yeah will each tray have its own passive loadouts that is a thing that uh we would like to do if you look at the mock-up there the intention is yes that we can do that we just need to make sure that we don't kill the server when we do that because we're actually swapping them out and there's some things that we need to do, such as cooldowns, because a lot of those things have longer cooldowns. We don't want swapping a tray to make those cooldowns um, go away. But we are on the road for that tech to work. So can you explain swapping um, harvesting tools? Like if you, you have a pick, I think right now, if you wanted to go and harvest a tree, do you need to hit two to bring up your axe and then go harvest it? Yes, or... yes. So the tools don't auto-swap. So if you go up and I've got a pick. Now what we can do is we can make it so that you do one point of damage. If uh, if that's a thing, just say, hey, hey buddy, change your axe. Yeah. Right? So I changed the axe and you can see that I can I can do damage again. Yep. And I didn't get any wood. That's your bad luck. It happens. It happens. Mm. We got rid of our giant TV that was... Uh, actually, the giant TVs are mounted over there on this giant Robotron kind of looking thing. Um... And that was what we were looking at chat before. Now it's back on the little laptop, so it's kind of hard to see. Is there a delay in swapping trays? <clears throat> yes, there is a... Oh, that didn't work, right? That's right, the tools uh, right now, the, 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 the axe is not they going away. They, they don't clean up? They don't clean up properly. Uh, yes, it's a half a second, which is currently what the druid is set to, I believe, yeah, in the ranger. Much all of them are half a second. Half a second. Um, you will. We haven't got in a good way to show you that they're all on cooldown while you're transitioning. That will be a thing. Rip Blair's mouse. Actually, they put it on. Uh, they put it on uh, no sleep, so you don't have to wiggle the mouse anymore this week. Oh right. <laughs> I think they were talking about you click click clicking to harvest. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you can hold down the button. You can hold down the button too. I mean, just like. Yeah, you know, just like our ba all, all our basics, right? All our left mouse, mouse buttons. Yeah, I'm gonna equip that guy. Interesting. I haven't flourished once yet. 
Oh no, my axe is low. That time, however, I got a bunch. Random is random. Random is random. So since sprint is only related to in combat, will they be able to attack while sprinting at some point? Will you be able to attack while sprinting? I mean, holding down shift while clicking the button? Is that? That's the question. That's the question. And the answer is no, because holding left down is a power. Sprint is actually a power. Sprinting are powers. Jumping is a power. That's why you can't do things while you're actually doing those things. What we are going to do is we are going to... Uh, I've been talking with the UI guys and Akshay that we need to... Basically, when a power is in its global blackout, which people may not even know what the hell that is, if it's in blackout, which means it, we're not accepting input for another power, mm -hmm. we need to put everything on a cooldown so we can tell you, hey... The reason that you can't do anything is because you're actually on blackout. We're not telling you you're on blackout right now. So it's, it's a visual thing. It, it will help people understand why, hey, this power is, is doing a longer one and a half second animation, which is why I can't do this other thing. It's just a polished thing. We'll get to it. Um, Going to have to macro left click. No, again. Was that the one that you read too? Um, no, but I mean, clearly it bears bears saying again. You, you can, can hold, hold the, down the button. You can hold, hold the button, button down. Hold the button down. So, uh, cleric's left mouse button is spirit hammer, which is a ranged weapon power. Yep. Does the cleric have a method for obtaining a melee tree? Um, right now, I can't remember if I wired it as a ranged tray or not. I believe. I don't remember now, actually. Um, I mean, the important thing is not really to get hung up too much on the melee versus range thing, right? It's it's uh, um, by default the clerk has a tray that has range attacks on them. Um, in the future, if we add disciplines that allow you to, to use a melee weapon, then they will have a melee tray. Right. Right. Because um, their weapon specialization is the hammer, right? Mm -hmm. Right, which so they, they don't get a. Uh, did we give them shield fighter? I can't remember the, the shield uh, shield specialization. I would have to look. I mean, I think they get the shield stuff. Uh, I do, think do, they do, did. Do, 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 do. Cleric, human, male. Yes. Uh, Vitex is extremely cumbersome and in the way. Has this been addressed? Oh, no. Hey, it did that thing where rather than giving me the... Uh, oh. Mm. Yeah. Forgot to, forgot to unshuffle the cards. Yeah, it, it didn't unshuffle <laughs> the cards. Thank you, Unity. So we have to restart Try it. Try again. Yep. Yeah, and, and for those that haven't seen this before, this is our little gray box ground plane dev mode where we just put lots of stuff down just to see if it works. Mm -hmm. And in this case, this is where we do a lot of our power building uh, that's where we do all of our harvesting. Uh, we have all of the ranks in there and all the types so we can test the stuff out without having to spend a bunch of time trying to find it. Right. Uh, there, there was a question about fly text and how it looks cumbersome and in the way and whatever. Fly text will be getting a pass. I have... We have all. We have guarantees from Billy that the fly text will be getting a pass. Again, that is a more polishy thing, but we are getting to that stage. Yay! It did it properly. Okay, let us... Can I get cats for a second? Uh... Oh, no, it's not cats, but... Oh no. <laughs> but it is up, so... You don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? It's one of the centaur sitting uh -oh. models. Do I actually have a hammer in basic combat now? Um, try the mace. Will the mace let me? Yeah. Okay. It's, I'm, I'm it's done. totally Jack. cheating. Huh? Yeah. For now. For now, you're cheating. So. 
clearly I will have things drug into this tray. But if I want to go into if I want to Look go like Look like Mammoth. Yeah, if I want to go into the Yeah, he gets a nice I really like the Yeah, it's beautiful. The beautiful block. Yes. So again, th this is a you toggle between them. It's very obvious what tray that I'm in, right? Super obvious. I am clearly in the survival tray. I am clearly in, in the, the melee, melee tray. tray. Okay. It, it's called the melee tray. I should probably change it to the uh, the range tray. The range tray. Yes, these these are our target dummies that we test all kinds of things out. I'm not going to show all of the powers, but they have lots of armor. They have uh, those are our heavily armored guys. Versus those guys which are less armored. So, yeah. Any other questions? Hammer throw looks cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we, we that's did a great job on it. Yeah, I, I think they did a great job on the hammer throw. We're all we're all happy with where the cleric ended up and should be in your hands. Is also part of five, five three is good. There's so much stuff in there. So many things. So many things. The variation in path is a bad idea. It doesn't matter because it's not a projectile. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's just a visual. Bells and whistles. It's just a visual. They either hit you with the reticle or they didn't. Uh, yeah, it's not, again, it's not a projectile. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Basically, if you left click and the, and the reticle is red at the moment that it goes... It's uh, should be good. It's good. The cool thing about uh, some of the tech that we got for that is because we have characters like the Elkin who can get range increasers, they can throw their hammers from further. We want the hammer to still travel at the same speed, even though the distance is greater or shorter. Obviously, if someone's point blank, we want it to, to right. travel yeah. at the same distance. So uh, uh, Tommy gave us some tech so that we can basically make it travel and look good no matter what the no distance what. is. Yeah, it's those little things, right? Building an MMO isn't about like five big things. It's about a thousand and one little features. It's actually more than a thousand. It's probably more like 10,000, 10, whatever. I don't know. Maybe even more. i them one day. Yep. Uh, assassin in 5.3.2. No, the Assassin is not part of 5.3. We're waiting on the effects and there is the positional stuff that still needs yeah. to get built. Uh, but the powers are done. The animations are done. We're just waiting a couple pieces of tech, so it won't be in the same polished state that the cleric is in by the time uh, by the time five three rolls around, unless <clears throat> unless it takes us forever to polish this thing up yeah. and get it in your hands, which we're hoping is not a thing. Uh, Master of Hammers. Master of Hammers is the discipline. I think you've already built that or yeah. their weapon weapon specialization. Uh, it is in and there, so yep. Great. Can you hit people with your harvesting tools? Can you hit people with your harvesting tools? They do not do damage that players can take. The damage that harvesting tools do is only damage that uh, trees and rocks and other resource nodes do. Is the Elkin going to be in 5.3? Yes, the Elkin is going to be in 5.3. Uh, I saw the Elkin running around in game yesterday. Murdier. Murdier will be there. <laughs> no shovel knight. Well, I mean, you can be a shovel knight. You just can't be a shovel knight that, that, that Do we, actually hurts anybody. <laughs> yeah. Do we actually need positional tech to go online to actually start playing the class? Yes, you do. Uh, we we have never made a habit of releasing a class that has been in a state where we don't think it's a playable thing. Yeah. And we without the positional tech, that is basically... Right, it's a very large part. It is a huge portion of their damage. Their damage has been balanced around the fact that we expect them to be getting bigger hits from behind. And to not have that would just make the class seem overly weak right off the bat. No Shovel Knight, then. So, 
I'm guessing maybe that's grave digging and they want to use the grave digging shovel shovel to uh like an e-tool and beat people in the head with it. No. Can you show the no, not the Elkin. Can't show the Elkin yet. Can you make them take a durability hit when you do hit people with tools? No, they they uh, mechanically they do a different type of damage that is unique to harvesting. They do harvest wood damage, I think. Yeah. And players are immune to harvest wood damage. Because they're not wood. ETA on 5-3. When it is ready. You clearly see uh, the bigger pieces are coming together. We just need to polish it so that we're not taking a step back from the 5-2 cycle. And it feels worse. I think it'll feel much better. And there'll be much cooler content. We got a five-minute warning. Five-minute warning. Show us the elk in Myrmidon. What's up with the Myrmidon, Sather? Yeah, harvesting. It's definitely everyone is always. Uh, um, no, that's a that's a pretty good fidget. Has had their own uh, comments on harvesting, and now it, everyone has positive comments so far internally because it definitely feels much better. Broken the weapons right now. So, yeah, you don't see it because I'm not on a dual wielder, but the weapons for the Myrmidon are now two one handers. Mm -hmm. So, you can independently equip a mace and an axe, or no, they don't get sword. I think it's just mace and an axe if they really mm -hmm. want to use uh, the mismatched weapons. So, you can totally do that, and it will work. And their PCM value should be reasonable come 5-3. Five, three. Five, three. Just like the Knight Shield is getting a PCM value on it as well. So we're treating all of the one-handers with their own PCM values. So And PCM is power cost multiplier. Did you adjust? Yeah, we adjusted all kinds of things. Yeah, I, I know you guys get in a mindset of playing live and that's the way it is. We we tend to jump ahead of you guys and shift to where yeah. it's going to be. So we end up kind of on a different track, which definitely is a challenge in development because we're trying to maintain the game for you guys to play and keep it fun as well as balance that with we don't want to do a lot of throwaway work because we've already changed it in maybe an upcoming uh, publish. Right. right. So we're we're kind of on that other track and we're trying to keep things... Um, good. That knight needs a black cloak. Yeah, my lighting in here is totally not good. This is, again, this is our developer space for do things work. It looks much better when you go out into the, uh, the, Actually, the pretty world. Yeah, but I don't have all the resource notes out there like I do uh, in here. Can you talk more about the other trays? What other tasks, etc. we'll be doing with them? Combat Harvesting Siege Stealth. Can you talk more about Stealth Try Items? Farming Creature Handling Trays. Well, right now we're trying to stay with the four trays maximum, which would mean that the Assassin is the one who could potentially get all four with a Stealth Tray, a Range Tray, a Melee Tray, and a Survival Tray. So they are our worst case um, tray option because they have all of them. and. We but they are one of the more advanced classes. For most people, they are just going to be going between two trays. Right. Melee and survival. Which is what you've been doing since starting this game, which is pressing Z to go in combat, pressing Z to go out of combat. Or if you really want to press Z and H, you can press H to go back to the survival tray. Whatever floats your boat. Or whatever key you map it to. Right. Same thing with the range tray. Right now, defaults to T. If you were to press T, it would put you in it. If you were to press T again, it would take you out of it. Or if you were to press Z from T, it would put you in the melee tray. Basically, you can jump between any of the trays, or you can hit that tray again to toggle back to the survival tray, or you can jump straight to the survival tray by pressing H. Right. All kinds of options. Many options, but now it should, I'm hoping, be much clearer where you are and what mode you're in and what you can do while you're in that mode. And powers are definitely locked to trace. We we have a way to flag the power such that a melee power can't go into the survival tray. Yada yada. 
Will there ever be an option to uh, mouse wheel for tray changing? To just scroll? Um, I don't know. I don't know the answer if you can use a mouse wheel to remap Because you'd have to remap it. Mm. So also, there is a danger there of you overshooting a tray. And that is something that we don't want to have happen. Yep, the nuke. We are definitely nuking all of the items as the skills when five three comes out. All right, you guys, your hour is up. One last question. Let's find a really good question. <clears throat> uh, I don't understand what the difference between a range train and melee train is from besides the actual abilities. That is the difference between them. Yeah, that's basically it. Basically it. So the ranger has all of her ranged stuff and her ranged left click. It's mainly about what equipment you can use now, right? Because when you're in the range tray, you're using a bow. And we automatically equip the bow for you when you go into that tray, which now means we automatically update your left click power, which for the bow is the charge to shoot. Whereas if you were to go in the melee tray, we put you to your daggers or your swords, or now you can equip axes and maces if you're a ranger. We put that as your main weapon, which is now going to drive what your left click is. There's also some fancy things, I think, with the ranger specifically, because they only regenerate um, their, energy. their energy while they're in their range tray. Yeah. However, ranger does start out in the melee tray now. So their default tray it will be the... Um, I think that's correct. No, their default animation stances. So you guys don't need to worry about that. Whatever you toggle to will be what whatever you go into. That was just um, it was an animation thing that we had to to make work because they were getting it was funny they were getting stuck like this in the bow stance, but they had melee weapons equipped. Right. So we had to do some stance stuff to uh, on the back end to make that work right. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for coming up and checking out the new harvesting, the new trays. I showed you a Claire camera throw, which we should probably and a shiny block, and a shiny block. Am I? Am I? I'm shiny, shiny, shiny and chrome. When oh, I block. Man. No, I went. I went right to Moana with that. Oh, you did. Shiny. Oh, I went with the uh, the shiny and chrome. <laughs> so these are all things that are bundled into five three. And you will enjoy them immensely. We've enjoyed making them. Harvesting is night and day. Feels so much different. There's even more little polish that we'll add to it over the next uh, couple of weeks as we get this thing ready. And it's just a ground floor for us to start doing cooler things with powers and disciplines for those guys. So harvesting is not a drag and, and a chore. Yeah, You'll want to go do it and it'll be something to do. And hopefully more people will get into it this way. So we're, we're really excited about it. Um, I can't wait to get it in your hands. And what's holding us back is Jack, really. It's all my fault. <laughs> if home. only Jack would if let us only Jack. five through. Uh, you know what? We haven't thrown any shade on Max either. That's true. It's probably Max's fault in He's some way. He's not here to defend himself either. So. Yeah. He's totally not that here. That means it's definitely Max's fault. All right. We're, we're getting the wrap-up symbol. We right. will see you guys on our next one, which is probably the monthly Q&A that we will do here in two weeks. So submit your questions on the dev backers or dev partners forum if you have them, and we will see you later. All right.